Today, I'm testing every myth that our parents have lied about. We've all heard those crazy things our parents tell us. Like drinking Mentos and Coke will make your stomach explode. <laughs> and eating before sleep will make you have nightmares. But are they actually true? I'm not so sure. Now I don't believe parents tell lies. So if half of these are wrong, Edie wins a mystery prize. <gasps> oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh. But if it turns out that half of them are true, Edie loses her phone for a whole week. No! Starting with myth number one is will your hand get chopped off if the car window closes on it? I'm super scared for this one. Are you super scared for this one? Well, it will cut my finger. <laughs> okay, so to test it out first, we're first gonna try with a banana. And we're gonna see, will the car window chop a banana in half? If it does, I'm gonna be really worried because like, it doesn't sense a banana. It's not gonna sense my finger. Well, it's okay. You've got a white coat on. You're dressed for science. You're a doctor. So everything, everything's gonna be fine. If anything goes wrong, it's fine. You've got this little tools here. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you've got like an injection and like some scissors. Oh, yeah. oh, you'll be grand, you'll be fine. Okay. You'll be fine, everything will be fine. Bring out the sacrificial banana. To make it a bit fair, we're gonna actually peel the banana down. So you've got a nice tasty banana. Banana. Ooh. Banana. Okay, we're just gonna gently place this somewhere safe. Okay, you ready? Okay, what so do this, I do? Do I just... Just close the window, it's underneath you there. Do okay. I up? Yeah, yeah, put the window up. This is, this is Edie's fingers. This is Edie's finger. Everything is... <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, I don't want to try. Okay, <laughs> it's a fluke. Try it again. Fly it again. <laughs> I can't believe... Wait, Tesla? I thought Tesla's were smart cars. I tried again. I can't believe that happened. Okay, this is Edie's finger. Edie's finger. Everything is okay. Edie's finger. Edie's... Uh-oh. <laughs> I do not want to try that. Okay, I need to put this somewhere safe. Okay. Myth number one. Does a car window chop a banana in half? Yes, it does. So far, your parents are not lying to you. Okay, I want you to try first. Me? Yeah. Okay, you push the button. Okay. Lift it up. Go. Ooh! Hey, it was okay. No! What? I'm scared of my car windows. How am I going to explain that? There's a banana all over my windscreen. Who knows what could be next though? Okay. I can't believe it chopped the banana. I did not expect that. I thought it was going to stop. I didn't think it was going to chop the banana off. Come on, people need to know. For science. I'm just really scared now. Okay, we've now put the banana back in the skin. Kind of. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, with okay. the banana in the skin. Okay, with the banana in the skin. With the banana in the skin. With the banana. Uh, well, it 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 didn't chop it in half. Um, try it again. Try, put the skin back. Okay. We'll just fold the skin over like this. All right, go, 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 go. Oh, oh, it did it did kind of make a hole in it. Wait, I want to try the pencil. There's no way the pen's gonna work. Try it. <laughs> That's my finger. That's my finger. Oh my goodness. What the? What the? Yeah. How is there. Is there no safety in place? No. Okay, well, come on, for science. No, no. What, for science? Uh, I'm just. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, I changed my mind. <laughs> it's too scary. It's too scary. It's too scary. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay, so test number one concludes that parents did not lie. Did not lie. Should you put your hand in a windscreen? No, don't recommend it. No, and definitely if you are a banana, do not put your hand in a windscreen. Yeah. Just do the banana dance. I am yellow. Yellow and tasty. You should try me. Don't be hasty with your choice of fruit in the morning. Great for school. It'll stop you yawning. Drinking Coca-Cola and mentors at the same time makes your belly explode. Let's try it.
Okay, for safety reasons, we're actually doing this outside and we're talking about my safety and my wife for making a mess of the kitchen. <laughs> and also for my safety, I'm wearing her and the goggles. Best of luck. <laughs> so we have one giant bottle of Coke and we have got some Mentos. Leave your comments below right now if you think Edie's belly will explode or if you think that this is a myth that parents have lied about. Okay, I need to get some an A4 paper. Uh, I don't know how much I need. I'm gonna just bring two. I'm really scared that it's gonna like, if it doesn't even go in my mouth. Like I've never had Coca-Cola before either, so it makes it even more scary. All right, are we ready? Okay. I'm ready. I've used the A4 paper to make a funnel, and I'm gonna just drop all the Mentos in here, and then you, and I'm gonna whip this off, and you put sand and put your mouth over the thing. Okay. And we'll wait to see what happens. Go 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> did, it, did it explode? Uh, kind of. Now we gotta wait to see what happens to Edie's belly. So what do we think? Is it a myth? Is it a lie? Or is it a truth? It's a myth. It's a myth? Turns out it's a lie. If you drink Mentos and Coca-Cola, although there is a reaction from the Coke, your belly does not explode. Okay. It only tastes good when it's exploding. Does it? <laughs> Eating before bed gives you nightmares? Let's find out if our parents lie to us or it's true. Okay guys, I'm about to go to sleep. First, I'm going to try eating before I sleep. Apparently they give me nightmares, but I don't think this is true. I've got to be quiet because it's the middle of the night. Let me turn this on for light. There we go, okay. I need to open this. Red stick with Nutella. My favorite. <clears throat> now it's time to sleep. I hope I don't get possessed in my sleep or like have really bad nightmares because I thought that was only when you like lay on your back and sleep. Um, so I'm scared for this, but we're gonna try it. Okay, this is my favorite snack before bed here. <laughs> and bread sticks. Mm, so good. These don't give me nightmares. They just make me dream about Nutella. Mm. Okay, now I'm just gonna sleep and there's no way I'm gonna have any nightmares tonight. Well, good night. Okay guys, that was not a myth. Never eat before you sleep. For well, maybe one more won't hurt. So it turns out that was not a lie, which means we are two truths to the parents and one lie. Oh, keep watching to find out, will Edie get the mystery prize or will she lose her phone for an entire week? If you've ever tried to cut onions, you'll know that you can't do it without crying. But if you eat chewing gum while you're doing it, it prevents you from crying. <laughs> well, let's find out if that is a myth or a lie. Let's see. It's gonna stand in front of me as I cut this onion. I've never tried this and I don't think I'm gonna cry. Get your eyes in there. Wow, it's onion. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? 
Yeah, I mean. How's that? How's that feeling? How's that making you feel? Okay. Normal. Normal. Let's chop this open here. You feel any tingles? No. Any tingles at all? No. <laughs> well, come back here. Come back here. Stay here. <laughs> I know. Stay in. Stay in close. How's the eyes feeling? My fine. Take a deep breath in. <laughs> Feel anything? Yes. Yeah? Oh, hands down, hands down, no cheating. Get in there nice and nice and indulge with the onions. I indulge them. If you. Okay. <laughs> Did you feel a stinginess in your eyes? In my nose. Take some chewing gum. Release some more of the lovely onion smells. <laughs> Any effect? Uh -uh. It works. Does it? Does it completely nullify it? Yeah. Come closer. Can you not even smell it because they're chewing gum? I can't. But it's having no effect in your eyes. Not any. Never mind. Oh, 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 what's that? <laughs> what's happening here? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I think that might be a lie. I think that was a lie. <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh, just so you know, oh, I'm behind the camera here cutting these onions up and I'm like bawling, crying, you're like. All right, so eating chewing gum does not help chopping up an onion. That is a lie. Have you ever been told you can't fold paper more than seven times? Well, today we're gonna find out if it's a myth or it's true. Okay, Edie, seven times. If you can fold this more than seven times, you win a point. Best of luck. See, okay. sounds simple enough, seven yeah. times. Okay. okay, let's have a look. We got, we got one. One is pretty easy, right? Yeah. One nice, nice, nice. Okay, it doesn't have to be. All right, okay, okay. We want to be, we want to be, uh, want to be correct. Okay, one in okay. the bag. One. No, 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 no. It has to actually fold over. Okay. The whole page has to fold over. That was cheeky. Okay, so number two. <coughs> number two. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Three. All right. Okay, three, three. is well. Four. Four. <laughs> Five. Five. <laughs> it's getting a bit tight. Two more and you win. Six. Here we go. Fold, fold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's impossible. Wait. Come on, one time and you win. Yeah. Just fold the paper over. I'm trying. It's just a piece of paper. Yeah. I know, but it's hard. Oh my gosh. Look how hard this is. And my shoe can't <laughs> do anything. <laughs> fold. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Okay, this is six and then? And then seven. Come on. <laughs> I'm doing it. Are you doing it? I'm doing it. Let me see your hands in the way I can't see. Okay, you are doing it. Come on. Seven! Seven! But it was more than seven times. No, it's seven. <laughs> I know it is. Is it? <laughs> I don't know, that's... I need to like... Yeah, yeah, you got it, you got it, you got to step on it. It's, push, it's pushing it the wrong way. Is that an official fold? Uh! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> but can you do it more times. than seven times? <laughs> or is seven the limit? Six and a half. 
Okay, so do you think you can fold a piece of paper more than seven times? Um, not more. Not more than seven times. You can if you try really hard to do so it. So that, my friends, is a truth for the parents! <laughs> no, it's not. Then fold it eight times. But... More than seven, not seven. <sighs> more than seven. It can't be done. Truth for the parents. Eating spicy things with a glass of milk <laughs> makes it all better and we're about to find out. First, we got a nice packet of spicy Doritos. All right, chili, heat wave, spicy corn, okay? Sorry about this if I scream, guys. Yeah, excuse me, sorry, apologies, apologies. Okay, take a bite. No, put the whole thing in, put the whole thing in. We, want the, we want the full effect, we want the full effect. Okay, what do you reckon? Is it spicy? Ew. Ew? All right, and we should just drink this milk, and if your parents are truthful, it should make everything better. But if they're telling a lie, what do you think? Are their parents truthful? Um, it still kind of burns my tongue. Okay. Hmm. Maybe some more milk, maybe some more milk. They didn't specify how much or how little. Oh, you've gone back for seconds, okay. All right, well. What do you think? Um, I mean, if you took a small bite, probably yes. It says, an intense flavor, full on crunch with a chilly heat wave kick. But if I was to do a full one. Right, a full one. And then, does it automatically nullify it? What were you thinking? I mean, kind of. But it's still gonna burn your tongue. So. It does burn your tongue? Yeah. Ooh. So, is it a truth or is it a lie? What are you gonna give it? To the parents or to the children? Children. <gasps> You're saying it's a lie. You're saying it's a- It still burns my tongue. It still burns your tongue. <gasps> what? I did not see that one coming. Whoa, you just went another point. Apparently, you can't touch your elbow with your tongue. Is it a myth? Or is it the truth? Let's find out. Now, not the side of your arm, not the side of your arm, the actual elbow bit there. For me, I actually have a little flower right here, which makes it easier. Okay, ready? Oh, so. Wow. Is that making Oh my god, no, no chance. That's impossible. Uh, 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 that's impossible. You must have a really skilled and long time. Can you do it? Yeah. Well, you, you can do it better than me. Almost. Oh, I can't even get anywhere like... Uh, oh god, so far. Uh, uh, miles away, bro. I'm close. I can lick somebody else's elbow with my tongue if that counts. No. No, that doesn't count. Well, I guess... Oh, no, wait. It was the myth was that you cannot. So, it's true. Yeah. One point for the parents. Ha <laughs> ha! So far, we have three points for the kids. And three points for the parents. No one Ooh. asked, Jonathan. <laughs> Everyone asked. Everyone asked. Well, let's move on to the next one. It is neck and neck. Am I going to get the mystery prize? Is it going to no. be for me? It's going to be no, for I me. My phone. It's going to be for me. So, have your parents ever told you that if you touch the elves, you'll get transported to the North Pole? This can't be true. I'm literally indoors. Um, so let's see if this is real or fake. There's no way, that if I touch his hat, oh my gosh, I'm at the North Pole. Okay, I'm home again. Whew. Wait, I just went to the North Pole. Oh my gosh, I'm in the North Pole again. And I'm home. It's true. Whoa. Never touch the elves. So for this myth busting, we have brought Alessia, who is the best eye crosser in the house. Alessia Francesca, are you ready? Are you preparing your eyes? Yeah. You're preparing yourself for this, okay? You need to cross your eyes, hold it for 10 seconds, and then release it and find out. Find out if your eyes are going to be stuck forever in the cross position, or is it 
a lie. Three, two, one. Cross the eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release the eyes. Oh my goodness, they're stuck. Alessia, are they stuck? <laughs> it's a lie! It's a lie! It turns oh out. Goodness. Oh my goodness, it's a lie. It turns out that Alessia's eyes have returned. I hope. Let me just check. Looks good. <laughs> Looks good. Alright, we are now about to find out is Edie losing her phone or winning a prize? It was a tough call all the way through it. It was neck and neck. How do you think you did? I think I did well. Do you think you did well? Are parents full of crap? Yes. Do they tell lies? Yes. Does your dad tell lies? Yes. Oh. Hold well, on, the judges are talking to me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, we're ready to announce. Right after this ad break. Are you tired of eating the vegetables your parents give you? Well, I have a solution. Introducing the Pizza 5000. Order today at stations.com by me. We can now confirm that the winner is... Yay! <laughs> leave a comment what you think it is. Quickly leave a comment in five. Rip it, okay. rip it, rip it. Rip. Come on, is there a okay. myth? <gasps> What's that? <gasps> Sweet oh. toot. Oh my gosh, I got the Sabrina Carpenter perfume. Yay! I got Sabrina Carpenter perfume, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, let's have a look at it. Sweet toot by Sabrina Carpenter. Oh look, there she is on the back. Yes, it's yes. so cute. I've been wanting this for ages. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, this is the comment of the day. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And if you want to be picked as a comment of the day, just leave a kind comment and you never know, you might get picked. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.